you just see this so how simple i am going to solve this problem hi hello so now we are going to solve another two problems from csat paper 2023 so yeah you just see this so how simple i am going to solve this problem right fine now see problem number 1 let x be a positive integer such that 7x plus 96 is divisible by x. How many values of x are possible? Option A 10, option B 11, option C 12, option D infinitely many. Right? Fine. See, this problem seems to be bit difficult but actually not difficult if you understand the logic. Right? Fine. See, 7x plus 96. So, what I am going to do is, I am going to factorize this 96. So, this 96 will have 12 factors. They are, they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24, 32, 48, 96. That is, 1 into 96, 2 into 48, 3 into 32, 4 into 24, 6 into 16, like that it goes. So, once you find out the factors of 96, you can easily come to a conclusion that there are 12 possible values. See, normally, suppose you say, 7x plus 9x, let us say for example, x you take common out, x you take common out, that means x into 7 plus 9, something like that. This is simple logic. So, like that, 7x plus 96, 7x plus 96 into 1, 96, 48 into 2, like that I am splitting into factors, then I can take it, the I can take the common factor outside, then it is, naturally it is going to be divisible. So, that is all. This is very simple problem. So, answer is option C, 12, right, fine. The next problem, a number n is formed by writing 9 for 99 times. What is the remainder if n is divided by 13? Option A, 11, option B, 9, option C, 7, option D, 1, right, fine. See, writing 9, 99 times. So, now 9, 9, 9, 9 up to 99 times. I am going to split this into two part that is 9 into 1 1 1 1 1 up to 99 times see divisibility by 13 just simple division uh, you take this uh, 1 11 let us say 11 by 13 it's not divisible then you take 111 you check then 1 1 1 1 then 1 1 1 1 1 then 1 1 1 1 so you will find a pattern every 6 set of 1 is divisible by 13 without any remainder. Every 6th set of every 6 sets of 1 will be divisible by 13 without any remainder. So, if you calculate like this 16 into 6 96. So, this 96 ones sorry get divisible by 13 without any remainder and you will be left with 3 digits lost, 3 1 that is uh, there are 99 digits. So, 96 digits we have divided it by 13 and found it uh, the remainder is 0 that is there is a cyclicity this we call in numerical cyclicity of pattern right. So, lost 3 digits 111. So, 111 you divide by 13 you will find that see 13 111. 8 13s are 104. That means the remainder is 7. seven. So, right. simple there is a cyclicity of pattern that is every set of 6 1s will be divisible by 13. Then the next set of 6 1s divisible by 13. So, if you do like this you will find that 96 1s that is 6 into 16 sets of 1 that is uh, like uh, <coughs> 96 then the last three digits if you divide by 13 you will find that the remainder is 7 see I uh, see as far as numericals is concerned you should first identify the pattern 
and uh, as I always emphasize, please get yourself exposed to varieties of problem. You should try to solve maximum number of problems and get exposure. So only by repeated practice and exposure to variety, you will be able to derive some amount of spontaneity in thought process with respect to CSAT paper in the examination hall. So that is most important thing. So please do practice more problems, right? Wish you all the very best. Thank you.